the Dollar General right here. Look at him. Amen. Amen. Never tried this before. This should be good. Gas and go. Oh, evil Knievel. Easter egg right here. Swap it and see what you get. Peace is rattling around there. Is that Uncle Rodney? That's not good. Oh, look, there's more. Oh, man. Oh. Don't eat duty balls. Checking my rear end. It don't matter, does it? Yeah. Right there. Oh Lord. Angle of your dangling. Way back in here. Instructions. That would be nice. Shuttle docked. Granny will fight. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Who's got the key? Can it cross the creek? Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Just when you think you're off duty, your wife says, Hey, I want you to buy me a four wheeler that your uncle's got for sale while we're going over there for a family get together. So we're about to see this truck in convertible mode for the first time. What kind of four-wheeler are you getting, honey? Oh, uh, I don't know. One that doesn't actually run. Right. So we're getting a four-wheeler that doesn't run Four. because it's cheap and it's coming from my uncle. What in the I I'm interested to see how our truck looks without this camper. That we've never seen it without the camper. Because we know the four-wheeler won't fit in here. Right. right. We don't have enough space to fit it in here. Well, your hair is looking lovely. It's oh, looking great. It. Looking lovely today. You're the biggest baby <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> Randy, what is this get up you got on today? It's, it's a new style. It looks like it's the 1920s and he just took his clothes off to go to bed or something. <laughs> it's a new style. I can't read. Pick it up. Oh my god. I'm over my head. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you can't help me. Look, I'll help you. Oh, I need to get farther. Are oh, y'all gonna get that? Okay. Well, it's pretty heavy to get off there, despite being aluminum. I, I didn't even know that's what our truck looked like. Looks fancy now, doesn't it? If you change the hoop to it, it'd look like a normal truck now. Fast forward to tomorrow. Shoo wow. Shoo wop. Next day, we're headed there. We're fancy. Look at us. I've even got boots on. It's incredible. Got my off duty wear. We're going to drive through some really pretty parts of the country going towards uh, Middle Tennessee. We'll show you some of the sites along the way a little bit, some of the really pretty stuff. We'll go get this four-wheeler, see if it runs. Well, this is one of the first sites we wanted to show you guys. This is the Dollar Gentral right here. <laughs> Glory land, every seven miles. Exactly. I broke my headphones and I need headphones so I can edit along the road. That's what I do. She drives, I edit. I'm editing the video that you saw a couple days ago. Should have brought my Raycons, huh? Yeah. Don't feel right buying corded ones after having them rake on. I know, you're going back. No, Trust going me, going backwards forward, here. you're going back. do a little whoop-de-do yeah. on every time we come this route. The kids always like hitting the hill. There used to be one where I grew up that my aunt and my mom would jump with me and yeah, good times. You gotta do some stuff like that. I love driving along the mountain ranges like this. So pretty. Some parts of the country they would call these hills. pretty part of this drive. This is Grassy Cove coming into Cumberland County, Tennessee. And they even got sheep over here. Look at them, um, babies and stuff. Oh, 
one of the old buildings. Golly, my ear holes is killing me after all that editing. We're almost there now. We're about to turn on the, my grandparents' road where my uncle lives and stuff. So this is where I grew up, if you didn't know, Middle Tennessee area. Cattle and tobacco farm. Did a bunch of work here. Retired when I turned 18. <laughs> you was a real cowboy. Yeah, I grew up a real cowboy and then I retired. We're about to pull up, have us a little meal, and then we'll check this four-wheeler out. Pray your blessing Woo! upon this food. Thank you for it. Okay. And uh, I pray it will nourish your bodies who may serve you. In your great name we pray. Amen. 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 You just put it in neutral and choke it. So all I need was a battery. Well, well aside from the noise, right? You really need a car brake rebuild because you have to run it. Half choke or something? Run, yeah. Half choke. When does it make the noise when you're actually moving? They said it started making the noise. And then they brought it to me and I parked it. That rattling noise there? No, that's normal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here Maybe a chipmunk. Well, it's the same check belt. Oh yeah. Something's in there loose in it. When I was driving you hear it more. It was kicking around something in, inside that cover. Ramps barely catch <laughs> the edge. Like there's what, 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 what are you trying to do to me? What, We've never word? tried this before. What's the word? It's not, they're not even happen. lipped flat. They're, yeah, they're just the like hanging on. This is what we got here. That's the Yeah, I mean, Julie's nervous. This should be good. Well, if he'll just get on it and go. When you're ready, you just gotta gas it and go. Gas right. and go, and it'll be done with it before you even know it. Let's do that thing rattle. Sounds like a cheese grater. I love you, baby. <laughs> it's two feet off the ground. <laughs> oh, evil can evil. There's not much hooking them on. All right. He killed There's it. Not a lot I'm be able to do to help you. Easter egg right here, Martin. Can you get it? We just swapped my credit card in there. <laughs> Won't you swap it and see what you get? Oh. What do you think about your new four wheeler, honey? I'm so excited. Super what are you going to do with a four wheeler? Is my question. I'm going to rip her up. Golly. It's four wheel dig with a winch. And I was expecting it not to be running at all because it hasn't ran in years. But my uncle went ahead and put a new battery on it and cranked it up for us. So it actually runs. You have to have it like on half choke to keep it running. So it's going to need the car cleaned out. Does anybody have any guesses on the transmission issue? Something is apart and it is flapping. Hitting you can hear pieces rattling around there. We'll get this thing home. We'll get it unloaded. Get the cover off the side of the transmission and see what's going on there. But we had a good time with family. Yes. Always good to go hang out with the family. I don't get to do it enough. Thousand bucks for this thing. Came with a new battery. Can't beat that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We got a couple hours here to drive home, but I mean, I got my Uncle Si tea jug. I'm good to go. <laughs> I'll be wound up by the time we get home. I love these old towns with the brick buildings and stuff. You, uh, you get to see them every now and then when she comes to stop signs. Pretty much, <laughs> aside from that, you it's just a blur. Quick. Get the head on a swivel. Yeah, but really pretty old depot and stuff down here. Immediately disappeared. 
Got to watch out here at night, don't you? Yeah. There's another one there, y'all. Eleanor. He'd have to get on it before he even got it going. Hopefully, it doesn't hurt whatever's going on that transmission. Oh, it's already died on him, hadn't it? That's exactly why we got to work on it. I'm excited. Are I really you? like it, yeah. We might could pull cars in the shop with it, with the winch. Oh, maybe. You like it? Yeah. Won't stay running much, will it? Is that Uncle Rodney? I didn't even check the oil on it. We probably should check the oil. <laughs> that's good well let's tear into this thing and see what's behind that right there do a little tune up on it as well let me do my hair first oh you gotta do your hair before we start sorry jeez okay. i'm really excited to drive it yeah so. well maybe we can get it running better now and <laughs> that noise will go away for real <laughs> that's some grip spurs ain't it yeah what was it power caps <laughs> I'm gonna start here. I don't know what this is. Is this the vent? I guess it's maybe like a vent it has to let air in or out or something. You want to take these 10 millimeter bolts out along the edge, Ralphie? See if anything falls out of there. There's gotta be something fall out of this, right? I see a belt. Yeah. Still has a belt. Now pull it towards me. Okay. Ooh, what was? Junk in it. Oh, there's like little uh -huh. sticks. Oh. Oh. The cover's got a hole in it. Mm. That's not good. What does this guy do? The belt seems fine. Look at that. So that. Wonder what hit that and made that hole in it. That's wonder funny. if a stick came up through it or something. There's these two sticks was under there. They're under there. Yeah. What? What is this guy? What is that? What an is acorn? That? We got an acorn in here? I know it'll fix this. Steel stick. Oh gosh, get out of here. Look, our belt is cracked out. See that? Some people are. What else is down there? Does we... the belt really need replacement? Well, we've seen this. Think... Oh, look, there's more. Get down here and look up under there. There's See all that junk? This is like rocks. Yeah, yeah, stuff has been getting into that hole and slinging around that's what that's the noise we're hearing i think the belt will be fine though that makes oh you just you, don't want me to get a belt and yeah, you have to wait that's yeah. all you don't want if you can't see it with the eye from a foot away i think you'll be okay roll, hey put some head. put some of that shoe polish stuff on it yeah we need a belt guys no we need a belt look at that i wonder if the store has it local uh, we'll see <laughs> That's a thick belt. That's all I gotta say. She yeah. a big girl. There's just stuff piled up under there. Ro there's rocks under there. What are those? I think it's, it's rocks. I honestly, think. what I think this is, it looks like dog food, but I think what it is <laughs> is little bits of dirt that have got in there and then got rolled around and packed together. Yeah. I've pulled casings off of hoops before and found little dirt balls like this that are really tightly packed and they just roll around and roll around and they get packed in there like that look at all that up yeah. that must have been what we were hearing yeah it had to be we'll blow it all out and get a belt coming i guess we need to get into this carburetor as well and we probably should put a new plug and change the oil in it yeah instead of going like the cheap and easy route and buying it just online or whatever first we're gonna go down here there's actually like a cycle shop in the middle of the country down here that's not too many miles from our house. We're going to see if they have it. Maybe we can support a little local business here. It's just a, a really small place, but, you know, I know they deal in motorcycle stuff. We'll see what they got. At least we have our guard dog here. He will keep us safe on this trip. We don't have anything to worry about. Ride a scooter. He's like, I'm too scared to raise my head. 
Well, that worked out good. He had everything except for the belt in stock. So we got like a carb rebuild kit. We got an oil filter, a spark plug, and the oil we need. An air filter. And an air filter. Gave us a good price on it. He's ordered the belt. We'll get it for you in a couple of days. We'll go ahead and do everything with the belt and uh, see how this thing does. We may roll that old belt on there just so we can drive it until yeah, then. Yeah, we going to. You know we are. Uh, you know it. Mom got to drive that thing. See, support local businesses when you can, you know? Sometimes you don't have an option, but when you have an option, go help them out. They're trying to make it out here too. Just think of all the dangers we could have encountered that he ran off. Oh trip. yeah, he's, he's protected us for sure. Mm -hmm. Let's blow this out. Look at all the little balls falling out of here. Look, a bunch of stuff fell into there. Oh. I know Ralphie and Mom ain't gonna wait until we get this new belt, so we'll just roll this new one back on, and when it comes in, we'll swap it out later. At least we know now that looks like just a bunch of dirt got in here is what was wrong. We do need to go ahead and fix this hole, though. Who wants to clean that up and patch that hole up? I will. So here's what came in our carb kit there, which I don't really expect we'll need all that, but got our new filter. It says it takes three quarts of oil and a new air filter. Woo. I knew that was gonna happen. That was not a good thing. That sure was nice of Uncle Twist to put a new battery on it for us, wasn't it? Love Uncle Twist. I think the air filter would be down in here since it says air cleaner. What is Ellie trying to eat? You're eating the doo-doo balls out of it? <laughs> Don't eat doo-doo balls out of a clutch. You're such a dingus. Oh, yeah, ours is totally open. Wow. So it should be sealed up all the way around and it's not. So it's a good thing we went ahead and got the air filter. I'm gonna take this off because the carbs right under here. Now that we got this cleaned off and blowed off, I'm going to make a little backing plate here so we don't get a bunch of goop everywhere. And we are going to JB weld this from the outside. Oh, I thought we put it on the inside. Well, I don't know how much clearance there is in there. I don't want to goop up a bunch of stuff and then it hit the clutch, you know? Okay, makes sense. So this is the JB quick weld. It only takes like five minutes or something. So we put out two equal parts. It smells like scooter when it gets wet. You need it to be all one color. Yeah. I think that's good. I think that's good too. Look, we'll squish it down in there like that. You forgot to make a sound effect. Sorry. Boo. Good. I think that'll fix it, won't it? Yeah. I'm gonna get this out of here. That was dog food, guys. It's down in here too. I thought it was just growing it up in the balls. So that's an animal, isn't it? Why else would there be dog food here? That's why Ellie was eating it. Oh yeah, Ellie. Y'all let my dog eat something? No, we did. She, we were trying to. We were like working, we were working and she's just she eating. She came over here and was eating those little. We thought it were like. Y'all about stress me Maybe out. Maybe they were like dog food. carrying dog food to That's feed someone. Weird. This thing is pre oiled and it feels like honey. It smells kind of odd too. Ah, oh, honey, honey. <laughs> but I guess that catches all our little dirt particles. This came with two, so we got a deal on that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bug eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and drain the oil too while we're waiting. I should have done this earlier probably. I think it's an 18 millimeter, best I can tell. See what's in here. I'm gonna get all over me. Oh, yep. Pretty black. Now, Uncle Twist, did you change oil or not? No, him did not. Him did not. Him did not. <laughs> it's so cool. I love it. That's so cool. I wrapped it up, ain't they? Little guy, isn't it? Yeah, it's pre old. Hey, they did it right. My reckon did. Yeah. <laughs> can't get it. We're gonna try our ratchet strap one here that a fan sent us. Hey. Did it turn? Yeah. Did it? Uh-huh. Yeah. There oh, you there go. go. That thing right there is a lifesaver. I love that tool. There we go. It's <laughs> dented from you. 
Check us out on other platforms at SleeperDude88. I always hate these ones you can't pre-fill. I don't like that. And what's the rule about tightening it, kids? South or down there? No one can get it. Yeah, you don't want nobody stealing your oil filter. Yeah. I'm gonna put the drain plug back in. I think she's done. Checking my rear end. Woo! That's right. Cause I know it ain't gonna check it for you. Oh. Oh, I got it. It's right there, son. Are we good to go? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Lost it job. I think I may have got all the bolts out. We had one down here stripped out, so I had to take it off here instead. We also got our winch wire still hooked up, but maybe that'll give us enough access to get the gas tank off. I think we got everything on the hook now. Yeah. It's a funny shaped tank, isn't it? <laughs> they took a advantage of all their usable space. <laughs> look at that, that's <laughs> funny. You think it just blew up in there? Yeah. That doesn't look good to me. And see the cracks on the rubber manifold thing? And this should not be that loose, I wouldn't think. Cause you got a vacuum leak. That was completely loose. There's our air inlet off of there. Isn't it funny it has a rubber intake manifold? <laughs> Look at the end of that, how it's just like. Ew. <laughs> is this the throttle side? Yeah. Yes. So that's how your throttle works. And I guess the other one is a choke. They probably put it in here to keep it away from the mud. Oh, I guess these wires just unhook right here. I wonder what those wires do. I'm taking the spark plug out. Yeah, and we're replacing it. Good job. Okay. Hey, what's here? Wait, let's see those rock eyebrows. <laughs> like, can you do both sides? Like, that's awesome. <laughs> Three X zoom. I knew you were zoomed. That's our little cylinder thing that controls our choke. All right, let's see what's in this bowl. Any day it's, now. I, I promise, it's like right Any there. Any day now. Ooh, she, oil deposits, I know that. I, I've looked at the <laughs> manuals. The Is the gap decent? Yeah, the gap's the same. Well, that looks perfect. Huh, I wonder what was up. Why it was not running good. We might have some junk down the jets or maybe something's a little out of adjustment. What's this supposed to be gapped at? 32, 36. Where's the 32? Go to right, like there, that. Scoot it over, scoot it over, scoot it. Okay, that'll be okay, that'll be okay. That's a cold Jeez, it don't matter, does it? Yes, it does. We've got little holes everywhere. Yeah. Who knows what could be stopped up. We'll drop yeah. it down to ultrasonic cleaner and see what happens. I mean, that kick, I think, come with some of this anyway. Yeah. When are we taking the exhaust off this thing? We're not. Ooh. It already sounds good. Get it tight? Yeah. Want to get it? What's it supposed to do? <laughs> what have it? Let me see it. It's weird. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It kind of felt funny. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna drop everything down into our ultrasonic cleaners. We got all the little screws and stuff in here in the bowl. We'll come back to this in about 30 minutes and it'll be good as new, hopefully. Here's our new oil for it. Looks like it's just 10W40. I didn't know if you could run regular oil in it. I know a lot of times they got wet clutches you gotta take care of, so I try to use the proper stuff. Look at the high performance. Oh yeah. Motorcycle oil. Yeah. I don't long for it. I don't have any extra. I'm gonna take this off so we can adjust the valves. If I can get this off. Has to give it a hit. Jeez. You want mom to give it a little rip? No. Get it off there. Finally. I'm cranking this thing over with the pull start. So there you go, the intake stroke. It closes, so we should be able to adjust our valves right in there. So it's supposed to be three to five thousandths. There's three thousandths. This is four. It will not fit four. So we're good on the intake side. Well, unfortunately our exhaust side does need an adjustment. It's just about impossible to get to, even with all this stuff off here. So it's supposed to be six to eight thousand. That's six thousand right there. We got a little bit of drag right there. That's exactly what you want. Just hold your screwdriver still, lock down your jam nut, and you're good. Well, Ralphie checked his rear end, but he didn't check his front end. Well, I couldn't find so I'm having him. to check Ralphie's front end for him. It's just like what, him being sure. a baby again. I couldn't find what it is. I think it's full. It is 100% not full. 
I don't see anything in there. Gear oil? Gear oil, yeah. Mm -hmm. I say gears in oh, there. Oh, Lord. Get in there. Well, does it come back out? out? Is it already full? Yeah, it I don't know. I think your angle of your bangle was wrong. We're full now. It, it wasn't too far off from being full. It's been in here a little bit. Oh, yeah. Wow. Nice. Wow. I wish we could submerge the entire thing, but. It'd be looking nice. Let's get our pieces over here. Get this thing rebuilt. That thing was all rusted up. That's the top piece. Think this thing's gonna run like a brand new one? Yeah. For sure. Absolutely. Ralphie? Without a doubt. Ralphie's got faith if he don't have nothing else. <laughs> so we have sat our parts here side by side and kind of verified what we got. And we're gonna use our new stuff as long as it looks the same and all does look the same. This wasn't that bad, it was like $20 for the kit. It's not a Kawasaki brand, but it's this brand, whatever that is. This little guy here drops down in there, like that right there. Wait, which jet goes in here? Yes, and then this, we'll call it an emulsion tube. Emulsion goes in there. tube, yes. This thing came with two jets. The one that says 155 goes in the top of this little doohickey we just installed. Here's our smaller jet of the two. Probably didn't need all these brass parts, but they're so much shinier, you know? Do you guys agree? Mm-hmm. Way down in here, we just realized this kit came with a new mixture screw and it had a washer and an O-ring. I was like, we didn't pull any O-ring out. Well, I started looking and digging and way back in here was an O-ring. Oh, look, and it's broken half. I bet that's why that thing wouldn't idle, you know? Yeah. The other half is stuck in there, y'all. Finally got that little booger out of there. Man, he was stuck. So this little stack goes up inside here. The factory label says a turn and a half, but this thing was actually, what was it, three and a quarter? You don't want to bottom these things out super hard or nothing. You'll feel it when it starts to bottom out. You don't have to crank down on it. One and a half. Or in Ralphie world, that's three. You usually count it different than I do. Yeah. This little guy here, I have no idea what it is, but it goes in here. That's all we need to know. It does the thing. Here's our new needle. It doesn't come with a new seat. I guess you just reuse the old seat. So we're just gonna hook this little dude on here. I wish this came with instructions. That would be nice. I'm not sure what the float setting is supposed to be. Where it is. <laughs> Where it is is fine. Yeah. yeah right. that's fine. That's fine, okay. Here, that guy goes down there. This little plastic cage goes down in, and then we have springy doodle. This guy can only go in one way, thankfully, because I didn't keep up which way it was going. Get in there, oh, right there. It even comes with a new drain plug. Super fancy kit here. Here's our new O-ring for our bowl gasket. And I think once I get this on, I believe we're done. Okay, <laughs> just dropped it. Wow. <laughs> you may have to hold it this way and install it, huh? Yeah, it's okay, Dad. Shuttle docked. Wawa, you haven't even got to ride it yet. No, I'm gonna drive I it. Have. Mom hasn't either. I'm I have. driving it first, it's first fun thing. It's and big. I didn't want to be the one to break it. That's why I didn't drive it before we did all this. Good. No, I had a ponytail and I didn't want to put a helmet on. That's what the real reason was. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a little bit of both, you know? I didn't feel like taking my hair down and put a, put a helmet on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we swapped out the broken clamp for this guy here, which is way too big, but should work just fine. Absolutely. Extra clamping. Right there. We should be set up perfect to where we're going to hit full throttle. Lock this thing down. Put our little choke plunger back in here. This is actually a plastic nut. I don't really like that. I think we're finally ready to stick this thing back in here. There we go. You coming to join us, Fran? Hermesis? It's a beautiful car so. She is super scared of Granny. Scooter's not even as scared of Granny as Elliot. What are you so scared of? Granny will fight. Granny is she like a hot dog. We got our honey covered breather in here. This may be the only vehicle we have with the air filter. Only the best for mom though. Exactly. Whatever side that Granny's on, Ellie's on the opposite side. So it's just got one alignment dowel up front. We're getting it back in stealth mode here.
<laughs> she already has a helmet on. Her. You know she like she's riding first. Yeah, it's it's hard. Hard. What are you doing? I'm ready. He didn't even got that thing bolted down. That ain't gonna stop me. Oh, MG. It ain't moving, son. What is the reason? Can you even see over it? Like why would he do? Why wouldn't you need it? I think your thing's backwards there. Knee slapper? Yeah. yeah, you're backwards knee slapper. <laughs> I really don't know how much that hole had to do with it. I feel like it was rats going in and out of these vents in the front and back. Is what I feel like it really was. Since they were in the air box, you know, they had to have been able to get in here too. I wish we had our brand new belt already. Ralphie, your grandma basket is literally directly <laughs> in the way of bolting this back on. Yeah. We'll wait till we're yeah. fixing fences. Maybe yeah. once it's actually moving under its own power. I think that's it. Woo! It's already on. Who's got the key? What? Who's got the key? Is it under the seat? I don't know, is it? No way. I don't have it. Here, look oh, Mom's good. <laughs> Mom's got the key. <laughs> I can't see again. Mom's got the key. Now that I have evicted them to make sure this thing ain't gonna do something crazy on them. She's more cautious than him, isn't she? Yeah. She's the most cautious one in the bunch. It's really fun. You like it? Yeah. Fun and cold. Well, you know who hasn't got a chance to drive her own four-wheeler is her. Mom's got to drive it. Oh. It's idling pretty good now, huh? Yeah. It's factory. <laughs> Pray for me. This is awesome. You like it? Yes, I love it. It it sounds good. Woo. So I don't have to change gear. No, you got low range, high range, Move and you got four wheel drive as well. But look, it's sitting there idling without any choke now. So it must have just a little bit of something really? there. Yeah. I bet it was that O ring yeah, that we I found. That. Success. I think I think we need to take it tomorrow and cross the creek with it. Yeah. Oh, I'll cross the creek. <laughs> hey, remember the rule about four wheeling. Yeah, go slow with four wheeling. You ain't driving it across the creek. You'll be stuck. <laughs> Shoo up. Shoo up. Next day, it's time to test this thing out. Can it cross the creek? Da, da, da. Okay, that was a big lead up. All right, crank it up. Let's go. go. Starts up like nothing. We'll meet you down there. Okay. Woo! Cautious Carol. It's a big deal for mom. She gets scared. <laughs> oh, she's spinning them. <laughs> she's she's buck wild, oh, isn't she? It's so funny. It's so funny. I'm <laughs> You are about to be in the pond, yeah. Hey, we built it right. 
You having fun out here, Squeezel? You like it down here? Who needs shoes, right? Watch out, Ellie. Mama's driving. <laughs> Let me give this thing a try. Yeah, give it a spin. It's kind of straight down here. Yeah. Why do you want that? That was. Why do you can't do that? That was something, wasn't it? Oh, what? Did that. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't be good. After buying parts and stuff, once the belt comes in, we'll have like eleven hundred and forty dollars in this thing. I don't see it's nothing great. wrong with it. Look, look at what Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know it's Ralphie approved, hundred yeah. percent. He it's hadn't quit talking about it since he got it. It's Wawa approved. Wawa approved. Hey, squeezy chart, eight out of ten. Oh Lord. That's, that's never been seen before. What about you, Mom? What's your feelings? Mine's a 10 or 11 out of 10. 10 or 11 out of it's 10. It's great. I love it. I I've been wanting it forever. Thanks for watching Sleeper Dude 2. You. We'll Woo. see you in the next video. Bye. Ch check out the main channel, Sleeper Dude. Thanks for you guys watching on here because, I mean, you watch everything we do. We'll see you guys in the next one.